Now we are going to do some bigger questions. And here are some of the typical audio vibration questions. One of the best part about this calculator is that it has a natural display feature. What I mean is, we can actually enter exactly what we see on the paper onto the calculator and then once we hit the equal sign, then we can get the answer. We should do this whenever you are solving the math problem uh, by hand first and then use the calculator to check the answer for you. Okay? Do not just uh, punch all this onto the calculator and then write down the answer. On the exams, on the homework, you still need to write down all the steps. Okay? So I will show you guys what are the things that we have to pay attention to, especially in terms of uh, how do you enter it, how do you move uh, the cursor around. First question, I have negative 55. So use this as a negative. Okay? Use this as, use this key as a negative. I have 55. And then plus, I have the 3. And then I see a parentheses, so open the parentheses. I have a negative A. Again, this is a negative because if you just look at the inside of the parentheses, there's no number in front of this horizontal line. Right? So that's it's a negative. So a similar reason why I picked just a negative uh, 55 earlier, because the negative right here, there's no number in front of this horizontal line. That's why I use this key for the negative. So inside I have negative 8 plus 6 close parentheses. Now I need to get the fifth power. This is the power key. So x raised to the box. Once we hit this button, notice the cursor becomes to the top right corner. Then we are allowed to enter any exponents that we want right here. Right? This allows us to this allows us to enter any exponents that we want. So use the x to the box. So the x box key, I guess. This is the power key, that's how I like to say it. And that's raised to the fifth power. And as you can see that, this is exactly what we have on the paper. Right? So you can always go back to the calculator and make sure that you enter all the things correctly. Okay? And then hit equal. And we get negative 151. So negative 151 for the answer. So erase this. And just in case if you uh, enter something wrong, then you can always just go back. You can just move the left and right button to go back. And let's say I mistyped the 8. It was supposed to be a 9. Then you can just go here and then press the DD button and then I can press 9. And things like that. Then you can erase this. Press the on key or press the AC key for erase. Second question. I have a big fraction. So we need to start off with the fraction, uh, the fraction key right here. So we have the fraction. On the top, I need to have 18. And this horizontal line right here, since it's in between of the 18 and the negative 6, right? And that's the usual subtraction key. So 18 subtract. I have a parentheses, and open the parentheses. This right here, the negative 6, because there's no number in front of uh, in front of this horizontal line. So we are going to use that as the negative. I use that. Negative 6. Close parentheses. We finish the top. Now we need to go downstairs. We can do that by pressing the down key. So the cursor now is on the denominator. Then continue. We have a negative 3, right? Because there's no not there's not there's nothing in front of the horizontal line right here. So that is a negative. Negative 3 and then minus 7. So this is exactly what we see on the question. Equal, we get negative 12 over 5. So negative 12 over 5. Number 3, let me erase this. I am going to have a big parenthesis first. But on the calculator, we only have one size of the parenthesis. It's okay, just use this. I need to have a one half, so press the fraction key. And notice that this calculator automatically uh, adjusts the size of the parentheses for you. So, here I need to have a one on the top. And then go down to the denominator. I need to enter the two. Press to the right. And then I need to have a parentheses negative 18. So, another parentheses 
I need to have a negative, negative 18. And then one close parenthesis for the negative 18. And then another close, another close parenthesis for the big parenthesis for the entire thing. And then I need to do this to the second power. There are two ways to do the second power. We can use the power key, the Xbox key that I said, as the one that we did for question number one earlier. But we can also use the X square key. And notice that if I hit this, it generates this square for you. Because we use the square uh, function very often, that's why it has a special key for something to the second power. Okay, E equal, we see 81, and that's the answer. Okay, all the inside, after uh, the inside parentheses, and then when you square the inside, you get 81. Number 4, up 8 raised to the negative 3 power. So press 8 first, I need to raise to the negative 3rd power, so press this, right? We must use the power key, so press this, we get a little box to the top right corner. This allows us to enter any exponents that we want, we want negative 3. So press the negative, press the 3, okay, and equal. That's 1 over 512. 1 over 512. 1 over 512. Negative exponents becomes fractions, by the way. Right? 8 to the negative 3 power becomes a fraction. And in fact, this is 1 over 8 to the positive 3 power. But I'm not going to go over the math right now. Just calculate it for these videos. Okay, for number 5. Continue to number 5. Continue to number 5. I have a 29, so start off with 29. Subtract. Notice that this horizontal line right here, it's in between of 29 and 12. So this is a subtraction. I subtract. I have 12. I have the double bar. That's the absolute value. And we actually have an absolute value key on the calculator as well. Notice that we have the ABS. Anything orange, so we need to hit the shift first and then the ABS key. So hit the shift and then the ABS key, so we get the double bars. And now we can enter the things inside, which we need 5 minus 3 raised to the 4 power. So I will use the power key raised to the 4 power exactly what we see on the question equal negative 883 negative 883 let me write that down negative 883 pretty cool isn't it number six let me see what do we have we have a huge square root we have a huge square root this calculator automatically adjusts the size of the square root or the parentheses for you so you just need to start off with the square root, right? We're just going to look at the symbol from left to right. And then after the square root, I need to have a parenthesis first. So hit the parenthesis, I have the three. This horizontal line is in between of the three and the negative two. So that's a subtraction. So three subtract. Parenthesis, this, this horizontal line right here, it's just um, in front of the two, right? There's no number in front of this horizontal line. So that's the um, negative, negative side. 2. The first close parenthesis for the negative 2. Another close parenthesis for the 3 minus negative 2. Just like this. And then I need to square that. So I can use the shortcut. So x to the second power. And then plus. Continue. Open parenthesis. 11. Minus. Close parenthesis. Negative 1. First close parenthesis for the negative 1. Second close parenthesis for the 11 minus negative 1. And then square that. Just like that. Okay. And you can always go back. You can always go back to make sure that you enter everything correctly. And then just hit equal and get 13. So all that come out to be a nice number 13. Last one. Notice the last one. What's the last one? This is a typical uh, quadratic formula question, right? This is exactly from a quadratic formula. So, it's okay. Um, 
Just make sure that you enter everything exactly how you see on the paper, and that will be fine. So start off with the fraction. Okay, so let me just enter the fraction key first. And then I will enter the top first. So this right here, it's actually a negative. It's a negative. And then close parenthesis, yeah, sorry, an open parenthesis. And then negative eight, close parenthesis, plus. And then I need, I need a square root right here. So parenthesis, negative eight, close parenthesis, square, minus four, parenthesis, one, parenthesis, and then open parenthesis, 12, and then parenthesis. And then to go downstairs, if you press the right button, uh, you press the right button or press the down button, that will work. Just make sure that the cursor is uh, somehow on the denominator. Okay, so you can also press level right. Just, just move that around. Go down there, right here. On the denominator, on the denominator, I need the two open parentheses one, which is two times one. Okay, all that equals to six. So all that equals to six. So don't you think uh, when you're doing uh, this by hand, it will take you multiple steps, right? But um, if you have a calculator like this, and if you are familiar, are familiar on how to enter the whole expression onto the calculator and hit the equal sign, and then the calculator will get the answer for you, right? So this way, if you do this after you do the questions by hand first, you can make sure that you have the correct answer before you move to the next question. That way, you can guarantee to have that question is correct, right? Cool, huh? And then there are more coming. There are more coming. So let me close it. 